Right. So I uh, did a bit of research on uh, the different kinds of spices that are available to us. And I came up with this uh, uh, presentation here. And you are free to ask questions. I could not complete it with all the details, but I put it broadly together with the benefits to benefit all. Okay, I will complete this, then I will share it with all of you. So let's talk about spices, okay? Now spices are of several different types. We can see spices from roots, spices from barks, spices from leaves and several different things. So the in the Vedic, uh, in the general uh, spice categories. So we have spices from roots and stalks, uh, then spices from the barks, spices from the flowers, uh, spices from the fruits of different uh, uh, plants. And then we have spices from the seeds. So we, I have put together this presentation based on this category and how they are, and, and mostly these are some things that are available and we can use them. Uh, so let's start with roots, okay? One of the most famous root spice is of course, ginger, horseradish, okay? Now, uh, there is also a spice called galangal, which is also very, uh, then there is also angelica. So these are all root spices. Now, why are spices used? Number one, spices are aromatic. Okay, aromatic. What has arom aroma got to do with food? If you see, one of the ways of healing in Ayurveda and even in general, we can see aromatic oils. So many of these are also used to use used to make oils. For example, uh, there is one more spice. The, the name is a bit strange, but when we go through the presentation, you'll know. So they are used in like the, the taste of root beer, right? We all drink root beer. So root beer and all these, these are all aromatic spices. Hmm? So, so these aromatic spices, the aroma, according to Ayurveda, food digests according to the aroma. Aroma also instills different feelings. So that is why the spice trade, the spice wars. So that is why there was a lot of these uh, spice wars that was going on. And uh, let us begin here with the root spices. So Angelica. So this was primarily uh, used, the whole plant is aromatic. So if you Google uh, Angelica, you'll get the picture. It's an entirely uh, aromatic. It was used in flavoring, perfume, medicines. It's mostly in Europe that it is used. And, uh, and it's been very much in use. So many of the uh, scents, aromatic perfumes, so they have this. So that's why perfumes give you a good, so that is why after actually making this presentation, now <laughs> I am very serious about, <laughs> you know, making like the eucalyptus oil, aroma, you know, all these things. So these are very important. So this is part one. So next week I'll present part two. We haven't covered everything here. This is just part one. Uh, so galangal is almost like ginger. So we find, for example, there is the Indian elephant and the African elephant. They are almost looking semi similar, but the Indian looks more traditional. But galangal is a variety of ginger and it promotes digestion and opens up your lungs and ginger has a similar property. So ginger is even stronger, right? So out of these, Angelica is not very common used at home. It is most usually in factories, but Galangal, ginger, horseradish, right? Horseradish is, uh, uh, is, uh, is something that can uh, help your digestion. 
it's mostly used in europe but it is available in north america also uh it's it's in america uh it is more like a weed but it is very uh, beneficial okay and it is used at this time of the year hmm? horse radish is very good for uh, improving digestion and preventing scurvy skin related diseases so uh so instead of all these so the first one is ginger and horse radish is something that you will use now so now winter time it's very good to have ginger tea you can also use horse radish so a couple of things that you can use in your day to day uh, spicing day to day uses okay now continuing with the root spices so i was about to tell you this so the one that makes uh the taste for the root beer so that is uh, sarsaparilla in india it is called as anantamoola so sarsaparilla so this is used to make root beer in south india we used to get a drink called nannari now what that does is uh, this is uh mm, that that word is a bit long antinosi exception <laughs> it's a, uh it's a very good uh, uh healer for the body because remember that aroma there is aroma therapy just by aroma your mood changes so when there is a bad stink you feel very pungent very depressed but when there is a good smell right so that's why people use body odor deodorant right <laughs> because you smell good but actually spices are used to actually heal this this different things so the two, this is mostly used in drinks uh, so this is not but this is a very good mood enhancer sarsaparilla so that's why people drink root beer or nannari so that taste is like it it's in india we call it like wicks it's like very hmm? the very uh, but the most important root spices horse radish ginger and turmeric there is another variety of turmeric geodary so geodary turmeric is uh, is like uh, another variety of turmeric but pure turmeric so turmeric is a miracle spice so turmeric one should have every day one should have turmeric every day why turmeric is anti inflammatory ginger is healing digestive promotion but too much ginger those who have pitta prakriti they cannot have too much ginger those who have a heated body so what happens is ginger can uh, accelerate the heat so ginger can accelerate the heat where ginger is very beneficial where it doesn't harm at all ginger powder should be used when having lunch if you have weakness in digestion right if you feel the food sits too much in your stomach it doesn't digest very quickly actually after 2 hours the food should have gone into your intestine after 2 hours so even after 2 hours if you feel the food is there in your stomach that means your digestion is not fast enough hmm so one of the ways to enhance this so one of the ways to enhance this is by using ginger powder so using ginger in a powdered format and also turmeric so ginger turmeric mix especially in autumn and winter is very important so what it does is it makes your body stronger against uh cough mucus hmm so it is it's very good to prevent mucus uh then uh, it can be taken in the form of teas it can be taken in the form of dry ginger dry ginger is very beneficial but dry ginger is not used while you cook but dry ginger is generally used after you have or you can make teas dry ginger powder is used in making teas and dry ginger powder is used so to sprinkle so once you are ready to have lunch so if you are if it is heavy in carbs if it is heavy in carbs suppose you are having a pizza party right don't do that but say but suppose you are having one <laughs> so ginger breaks up the food faster so ginger powder 
is is very very beneficial so ginger is very beneficial so second is turmeric right but sarsaparilla is very good for this taste so they can be used in aroma therapy so eucalyptus oils sarsaparilla oils so these are all very good for uh, you will find them which company is that i forget this is a very good company last time uh, uh they make these oils and these smells they can heal actually these aromas they are very healing so that's why they were used turmeric is very very beneficial uh in the sense that now turmeric can be used in teas turmeric powder can be used at night when you have milk so every night before i sleep i have milk so this milk uh i would say milk i add two things to the milk at night one is a spoon of ghee medicinal ghee and second is a spoon of turmeric why is turmeric used number one turmeric is anti inflammatory so night when you when you have milk if you add turmeric even if you are not drinking milk a hot glass of water with the turmeric powder or fresh turmeric uh, grounded crushed if you add with the ginger powder fresh or powder ginger fresh or powder if you have at night if not ginger even at least turmeric if you have at night it repairs the inflamed parts of your body so if you have acidity if you have acidity avoid ginger if you have acidity just have turmeric so when you sleep at night ghee is a very good anti acidity so turmeric milk with so today turmeric latte is very famous because turmeric is so beneficial you can eat it raw turmeric powder uh, in many different forms you also get turmeric capsules so even joint pains can be overcome the inflammation so pains are because of inflammation most of the inflammations can be overcome with turmeric so out of the root spices the most important are the turmeric ginger and horse radish hmm? they they have really amazing benefits okay any questions so far comments anybody would like to add something from their so how do we use horse radish same as almost same as ginger so you can use so, it what is that how is horse radish horse radish what is that it's horse almost radish. it's almost similar like uh, ginger mm uh, uh, uh actually it has uh, glossy green tooth leaves and it has a lot of white flowers it has a lot of fleshy white cylindrical root and that is what is used it has a cylindrical root it's almost like ginger hmm uh that is not available that is mostly in europe but if you come across it it is still beneficial hmm in autumn it is very good it is used generally in europe here of course we get ginger but uh, that is generally you see the thing is both are imported uh don't get the chinese ginger okay hmm so get the other organic ginger whenever how, how you do, hmm? how do you know when is chinese ginger it it says product of china oh okay the problem is they use a lot of trash as fertilizer hmm so horse radish is almost similar like ginger hmm but ginger will do the job but if you come across horse radish it is very good okay all right so this is clear when i uh, i'll share this presentation i'll add the pictures of each i did not get enough time to finish adding the pictures so then it will become very clear okay now spices from barks hmm so barks we can see uh, barks of trees so the first one is uh, cassia so this is chinese cinnamon so this is cinnamon but it is the chinese variety one of the best teas that you can make in the morning 
is cinnamon tea right but what they do in america is cinnamon is so beneficial but the only problem is cineholic they put sugar in everything so cinnamon bark itself cinnamon stick so cassia works similarly so cinnamon what it does is it's a stick when you heat the stick cinnamon not the powdered don't make tea with cinnamon powder what happens is when you drink the powder sits in your throat it's not very good hmm uh it doesn't feel welcome hmm so uh, it's better to uh ah colton is a herb expert so black pepper mixed with turmeric evokes more bio vitality of the curcumin okay so uh where is it okay so cinnamon so morning if you take cinnamon hot cinnamon tea this helps so for those who are diabetic those who are on the brink of sugar those who have high sugar this is the best tea cinnamon and ginger or even plain cinnamon stick so that is good so please mornings ginger and cinnamon so if you boil plain ginger cinnamon that is very good for your morning tea especially in this winter cinnamon also evokes heat cinnamon is it so those who have lot of heat problems so then cinnamon may not be a good idea turmeric is better you can add a little bit cinnamon stick and then you can add turmeric so similarly there is a uh bark called as uh sassafras okay so this is from the us it is a completely aromatic plant okay now this is used in oils and uh, different oils soaps polishing oils because this gives you a very aromatic flavor so you can use this oil this is uh because it is native for america for many american uh if you have issues with uh, hives if you have issues with uh, seasonal breathing issues when you get so sassafras oil is very good just you have to look up which oil brand they are sold under uh that is good even cinnamon flavor so cinnamon is like healing so cinnamon oils aromatic oils so all these different flavors they are converted into different oils so these spices so these oils when you smell also you get a similar effect like even ginger smelling ginger like when we do when we have cold we do it with the hot uh, with water and we add turmeric and ginger and we can smell that like we put in india we used to put wicks and boil it and inhale the smell so even that works so this is uh, the uh, oils also work in a similar manner okay so these are the most important spices from the barks of uh, plant so any questions on this comments colton if you have anything to add please add colton is doing a curse or not curse course <laughs> colton is doing a course on herbology right colton yeah i'm learning yeah. you know sassafras is also used in uh, root beer so you mix up sarsaparilla and sassafras exactly yeah that's what i said so it's very aromatic and it lifts up the mood so that can, that oil is very good to lift up your mood okay so the next is, one how much is there a difference between uh, chinese cinnamon and regular cinnamon the regular cinnamon so the thing is you might get it in two brands eh? 
So just to make you aware, so Kesia means it's a Chinese cinnamon, but the thing is, uh, we can say the regular cinnamon has a stronger effect. It's much more beneficial than the Chinese cinnamon. But you can, if, because you can see, because the regular cinnamon is very widely used and uh, it is uh, much more beneficial. So the, if the Chinese cinnamon acts similarly, it's just like, like I said, it's a Indian elephant and the African elephant, you know. So it's almost similar, but a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So in uh, aroma, those who have sharp nose, you can understand. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, the spices from flower buds. Okay. So now we know among these, saffron is most famous and cloves. So one of the most famous things that the Europeans wanted to buy uh, from India was the uh, was actually the saffron, saffron and cloves. These were the two uh, important ones. So the capers that we see, it is from the Mediterranean region. It's from Europe. Uh, so this is very pungent taste. So it is used in sauces, pickles. So it is more like a uh, like pungent, you know, like you want to add more taste. So that is not some that is uh, more for just you want to make it pungent. Mm? So that is to reduce the cough. So basically, in winters, that spice is used. So not so much in North America, but it is uh, available mostly in Europe. So cloves and saffron are the most important ones. So what are the benefits of uh, cloves? So cloves are used for one of the most important thing is the rinsing the mouth. So any kind of gums problem with the gums. So for dental, for health in the mouth, health in the teeth, to cleanse, one of the things we do is after every meal, you can brush, right? You can brush. Second is you can do oil pulling once or twice a day. You should do oil pulling. The third is they say, if you have any kind of toothache, then we sleep, then we put the cloves in the mouth for the teeth. So cloves are very, very beneficial. Cloves are also used to make uh, its taste is slightly pungent. Every one of us is common with that. It's very good to heal the cough. Uh, so whenever you have cough and mouth related, any kind of infection, pain with the gums and everything, cloves is very good. So if, if you have infections or something, you can put cloves at night in the water or morning you can slightly... If you dip it overnight, the clove water that is there, with that you can wash the mouth. Because sometimes when you keep the clothes, it sits in the teeth, it's okay. But clove water, just like you do oil pulling, you can do that. Cloves are very good. Teas, to the teas you can add cloves. Hmm. It's very good antiseptic. So the most important properties of cloves is, it is a very good antiseptic. It's a very good digestive. Hmm. So the essential oils uh, also made from cloves, it is uh, very, very beneficial. And essentially it is, uh, cloves are very good for uh, warming. They warm up the body also. So in the morning, so that's why they are, and they, uh, so they heat up the body. So they are very, very much beneficial. In the winter, uh, they are used uh, also when you take steam. Mm -hmm. So when you take steam, cloves are added. It's very good, uh, very beneficial. Mm -hmm. So cloves are actually in one sense more beneficial than saffron, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So the next thing is uh, saffron. Saffron adds uh, taste. Saffron is, uh, it's almost like gold. Mm -hmm. So saffron is taken basically with milk. Mm -hmm. So saffron is taken with milk. Saffron is taken with, uh, uh, in general, it is used for cooking also, but not in so much quantity, but a little bit quantity. Saffron, 
gives you purificatory effect right so saffron tea so saffron so the night milk that you take you can add saffron you can add turmeric and ghee so saffron is very good saffron is cooling also hmm saffron is very healing uh so for example what are the things you can keep water in overnight to drink in the morning so three things copper silver and gold so that is why people used to have silver plates so what happens is when you eat in that you get a little bit of the silver metal but when you put silver uh, water in a silver cup it also gets purified now on top of it if you add saffron right this saffron will also heal you will also heal you so mornings what we generally do in india that is why they used to use uh, silver uh, uh, plates and cups or copper plates and cups because these metals you used to get the benefits of these metals so silver and gold are very purifying for the body uh, so therefore and along with that if you add saffron it helps to spread nicely over the body so saffron is uh, very healing hmm? saffron smell it is considered very rich but of course it should be used in little quantity hmm? so saffron should not be used in lot of quantity it should be used in little quantity then you get the real benefits of saffron okay so any questions on this all right no questions so the next we go from is uh, spices from fruits hare krishna prabhu yes bro uh, can you put the remedies also as part of the presentation where it can be used for what yeah yeah no that's that's what i said i did not have time to finish all of it so i will uh, do it after this so just i popped up like last night and we were planning to make one presentation so i did it i put everything together but uh, then i was i was doing morning i had a couple of more classes so i could not finish it so i'll do that before i share okay so uh, uh, with the pictures okay so by end of today i'll i hope to do it so sweets uh, sorry so we have uh, different uh, peppers here uh, fruits of different uh, plants so that is another kind of spice so we have sweet or bell pepper so it is not ball pepper sorry it is bell pepper so bell peppers are very uh, beneficial in the sense they are that's why they are sweet see one thing we have to understand that in general every a uh, vegetable has a, an inherent sweetness an inherent sweetness so real cooking in real cooking in ayurvedic cooking we add spices just enough so that the real taste of that vegetable along with that of the spice comes there why because in ayurveda there are six tastes according to ayurveda swadu amla lavana tikta ushana kashaya so swadu means sweet so everything is slightly sweet hmm? swadu so everything has a natural sweetness a little bit of natural sweetness swadu amla so amla means uh, the next kind of taste basically the indian gooseberry so the strength that you derive in your body depends on the amount of sweetness but that is not the sugar sweetness sugar weakens you but the natural sweetness of the uh, of the spice or the vegetable so that makes you strong hmm? so swadu amla lavana means salty so salty means salty doesn't gives you level 3 strength means it is doesn't make you very strong so if you are having only salty food you cannot so something that is slightly so like this we have bell peppers so when you induce them so they give you little pungent but they are generally sweet so that sweetness is what adds to the strength ushana means hot uh, 
ಸ್ವಾದುಲ್ ಆಮ್ಲ ಲವಣ ತಿಕ್ತ ಊಷಣ ಕಷಾಯ ಕಷಾಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಪಂಜಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಪಂಜಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಜಿಂಜರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಪಂಜಂಟ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯೂಕಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಈಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಈಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯೂಕಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯೂಕಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದಿ ಪಂಜಂಟ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬೆಲ್ ಪೆಪ್ಪರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪೈಸ್ ಫ್ರಾಂಕ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೋನ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರೊಮೋಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಷನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಸಿ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಾಟ್ ಪೆಪ್ಪರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಚಿಲ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ the hot peppers the chilies so that's why they are there why are they there maybe add a little bit of hot taste but they are not healing for the body sometimes some preparations it it doesn't uh, uh, just to add like a festival or something just to add the hot taste or you know but in general in ayurveda they are generally avoided the very hot taste the extremes are avoided so sweet is also the natural sweetness so that swadu is there but taking too much sugary sweets is avoided hmm? so the next thing we have is also what is called as the paprikas so what is the uh, paprika uh, so spanish paprika so that is uh, again hot uh, spice not very hot but uh, they are used in olive see the way you take it is uh, once shila propad was uh, like almost very weak and bhakti charu maharaj was cooking for him and propad asked him to use red chili and uh, bhakti charu maharaj was very reluctant to add red chilies uh, because of uh, because it is very damaging he is already very weak so chilies will in- inflame the body actually they increase inflammation so prabhupad told him it's not very good it's not very good to uh say no always to the guru he said you can change the quality of the chili by frying it in ghee if you saute it in ghee then what happens the inflammatory quality changes so that is why one of the best ways to cook in ghee is when you add the chili spice or any of these hot spices in ghee what it does it removes the inflammatory properties so because they can cause inflammation hmm? uh so they are very pungent in general so pungent means they weaken you so remember this so sweet sweet to pungent that is the range in ayurveda so sweet means not sugary sweet sugar in every vegetable if you cook with little bit of salt and spices what happens it gives you its natural taste when it gives you its natural taste so that is slightly sweeter so that develops the body but when you eat pungent taste what happens it weakens you hmm? so similarly chilies are there to weaken so if you are eating something very heavy yes then you need these chilies and other things to actually break down the mucus uh, so that is why some people say oh it helps in digestion because the kind of food that, that is eaten is very very heavy so in order to make it lighter uh then uh, we should not use too much of that hmm? so uh so basically paprika bell peppers they are used mostly in salads and uh, they are used with pickles uh, they are pickled hmm? and uh, chilies as we know we have to minimize hmm? in our cooking they are mostly used when you cook with meat because meats are very uh, dull in taste so 
but that is also not good uh, for because that's two extremes put together anyway generally we avoid meat we should avoid meat for karmic purposes now uh, juniper um so juniper uh, is used mostly for uh, flavoring so this is available all over the world so juniper is used so just like you will find here rosemary uh and other uh, uh, herbs spices which grows easily so juniper is uh, one among them uh so they are dried and uh they are basically used in medicines hmm? so they are used in uh, medicines because they are berries basically so they are fruit berries they are used in making oils um and uh, they give an aroma like that of a gin so basically it's a pungent kind of aroma uh used like more like an anti inflammation for wounds and other things and oils for smelling now black and white pepper uh we know very well uh pepper is uh, very very important so this is pepper is something you can use to replace chilies so what does pepper do pepper is also a little pungent so what it does it reduces the mucus hmm so the mucus goes away so the mucus goes away and uh, pepper black and white pepper both so they are very beneficial actually you can completely substitute your chilies with black and white pepper okay and also star anise so star anise of course it's a little different but in general uh, pepper is more cooling spice so in ayurveda mm-hmm. in ayurveda uh, we will find that everything is either uh, uh, everything is either uh, heating or cooling okay so chilies are heating paprikas are in general they are heating but because of the sweet taste it kind of compensates when you use in salads and everything but black and white pepper so they are cooling but yet pungent that's the thing now chilies are pungent but they are heating so remember the difference so that is why pepper black and white pepper even if you use a little extra quantity it's okay right even if you use it a little extra quantity it's okay but when you use chilies extra quantity uh, that burns your stomach so that's certainly not good for a yogi so yogis we should substitute chilies completely with black and white pepper Hmm? until and unless you become the perfect yogi hmm? after that you will not use chilies anyway hmm? but till then don't use it okay so the last one is uh, star anise and vanilla so star anise i mean all of us know the star anise so this is uh, basically dried so anise is dried and it is distilled for oil basically hmm so it is used in our eastern cooking so in our eastern cooking it is used for uh, spicing and uh, it is basically a digestive mm? and uh, it helps it helps when it digests it helps reduce cough it is used as an expectorant mm? and uh, overall star anise is very beneficial it's a little heating it's a little heating so that is why everything should be in limited quantity the only thing i saw star anise also when you use it a lot it can cause uh, like heat too much heat the only spices two spices which i found that even if you use it in a little extra quantity which is which does not disturb you is black and white pepper and turmeric Mm, black and white pepper and turmeric are very beneficial and uh, yeah so these are something which are very uh, beneficial for all of us so any questions so far comments ideas is so it too what, much what's white pepper 
So just like black pepper, you get white pepper also. Okay. Just like black pepper, you get white pepper also. Hmm? Is this information beneficial so far? Yes. Good. Yeah. Helpful. Okay. Can we have a? I have one question, Prabhuji. Yes. Um, is there any herb like without knowing its properties or anything? Like, is it beneficial to the body in general? Suppose if I have the uh, heating body, will it cool? And if I have the cooling body, will it heat? Oh yes, 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 yes. So that is why, for example, if you are having too much heat, then you avoid cinnamon, chili, and everything because then it adds to the heat. So you should take always cooling spices. Yes, so but example, that's only possible if I know that I have a heating body. Uh -huh. But if I don't know what is my uh, my nature of my body, mm -hmm. but is there any herb like that, herb or any spice like that? which will take care of the body if it it acts as a cooling agent if my body is heat uh, if it acts as a heating agent if my body is heat. that is why uh, turmeric turmeric yeah turmeric turmeric is okay. balances both okay uh, let's go over this let me tell you which are which are dual dual working like that uh, let me see here then i can tell you so the first one is uh, Ginger in limited quantity, especially dry ginger. So dry ginger is beneficial. Okay, it doesn't give you horseradish is also better. Uh, turmeric, of course, like I told you. Cinnamon in little quantity, not so much. Mm, little quantity. Uh, cloves, cloves, and saffron. So they are balancing. Means doesn't matter if you have a heating or cooling body. Okay. But none of these pepper, white, black and white pepper is good. None of the others, but black and white pepper. There's also a, a root, uh, ashwagandha. Ashwagandha, which, okay. Which is uh, adaptogen. And yeah. adaptogens, they kind of balance out your body body's hormones. And so if it's kind of an excess, it'll bring it down. Or if it's low, it'll bring it up. So it's maybe one that's uh, it's good for like stress and um, things like that. Ashwagandha. Okay. Yeah. But uh, that you. comes under herbs, uh, which, which, which I'm doing next week. Next week, I'm doing Ayurvedic herbs. Right. Yeah. It's not uh, spicy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, spices. Yeah, but, but that's a good information that ashwagandha is very balancing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so basically now the savory seeds, okay? So we will uh, quickly go over this. So we are uh, almost in time. So this is something we use. These are some things we use on a regular basis. So that is celery, uh, coriander, dill, fennel, caraway seeds, and anise. Uh, these are some things we use uh, very general. So anise is a very anciently used, uh, very medicinal in value. Uh, and uh, basically it is a small fruit hmm? and it comes from South America. For America, it will come from South America region, but it is available in all over the world, any tropical region. And its oil is very good. So anise is used in terms of the oil and medicinal purposes. So, so the aromatic oils, so that we find the healing oils. So eucalyptus, anise, uh, then this uh, sapphires, you know, uh, so all these oils that are there. Uh, so similarly, caraway seeds, uh, basically used in baking, perfume, medicinal value, and... Uh, it is very thick roots. It has a very thick roots, small white flowers. Mm. So uh, caraway seeds, my wife sometimes uses in the Ayurvedic cooking. Uh, they are uh, uh, very, very good when you add them in uh, something that you want to bake mm. and uh, medicinal and uh, Perfumes. So caraway seeds can be generally used. They are also very good. They are they are 
uh, one of the general spices. So not anise, but the caraway seeds. Uh, so similarly, we have celery seeds. So we know the celery plant, but there is also celery seeds. Mm. Uh, so they are also used in uh, flavoring foods. The, they are small, dark brown. Uh, and have a pronounced uh, celery flavor. Similarly, there is celery oil. So all these different flavors, see the main thing about these spices is the different flavors you can make into oils. So similarly, turmeric oil, <laughs> there is different oils. Uh, doTERRA oils, yes. Now I remember the company. So doTERRA oils is something that, that, uh, that uses most of these from these uh, different uh, discussions, you know, what we spices we use for healing. Actually, in fact, doTERRA oils are very beneficial and I would suggest see then, but, but by understanding this, you will understand where the, how the smell is coming from because the smell cannot be, artificial smells cannot heal you. Only when the uh, smells are from the natural sources, then you will find them healing. Now, coriander, dill and fennel is something we use in general. Uh, they are warming spice, coriander, uh, and but it's not heating, it's warming. So there is difference between warming and heating. Warming means it doesn't uh, heat you up, like it doesn't produce the, like the chili. So this is like a light heating. So it's not really very heating. So where it can be used a good lunch. So especially in the winters, coriander is very beneficial. People also make tea out of fresh coriander and the coriander leaves we know in general is a very good spicing for Indian sambar, uh, rasam, all these things coriander uses. But coriander seeds also is a very good flavoring. So what it does is it enhances the flavor and it improves the heat, the digestion of it. So coriander, very beneficial for the winter. So use it regularly. It is used in all sambar, rasam, so South Indian. Mm. So similarly, we have dill. Of course, here dill, mostly they make dill pickle and all that. But dill in general, dill, uh, you get the stem, right? That is very medicinal, very beneficial. You can use them for salads. Uh, it is very much a North American. So for example, something which grows locally here, uh, it, is, it is even more beneficial than that which comes from other places. So that's why usually in Ayurveda, we add Indian spices. But in general, if you see spices which grow in the local regions, in the local regions, so they are more, uh, what do you call it? Uh, healing for your body. So uh, the dill is more local. So in one sense, dill gives you far better benefits uh, when it is com coming from a local area. Now fennel in our book, uh, Food for the Soul, we have used fennel for making a lot of teas. Fennel is used also to refresh the mouth. Uh, it's uh, very good. Uh, they are used in candies, they are used in oils, so they are used in medicine, soaps. Uh, it's it's uh, generally grown all over the world. Hmm? Uh, so fennel, very common, very, uh, very much enhancing and very much a mood refresher also. So these are savory, right? So they add more taste. So coriander adds taste, dill adds taste, fennel adds taste. So they are more tasting. So they make your refreshing. So after this, now every room I will have the only problem with putting some oil and other steamy things in our houses. After one day, Nimai will hold it and pour the water down. So we put something nice to steam, you know, something small, you know, where you add these oils. And that's it. Within one day, that oil, that machine will be one part will be in the bedroom, one part will be in the hall and the oil is all over the floor. So that's why we have not been able to use. So we have to make a child protection oil steaming machine here. Hmm? 
so that's another problem so so spices from seeds so this is the last part then we will end for today so cardamom so cardamom was one of the main things that uh, the it's a very cooling spice it's very very beneficial so cardamom is uh, very cooling for the stomach uh, cardamom is used in all kinds of teas cardamom is used for uh, uh, oils also and this cardamom is very much used for cooking it's such a good flavoring that it this is this cools the stomach this balances raji uh, raji mat this is a very good for balancing for heat and cold both so cardamom can be used for both it's very healing to the stomach cardamom next is fenugreek so fenugreek we know methi so methi if you make the sprouts so that is very good to control methi is not very good when you sprout the taste is a little uh, uh, is for diabetics actually so methi is used fenugreek uh, sprouts they are used for controlling diabetics diabetes uh, cardamom is used for cooling so we use it generally in teas and other things for cooling purposes Uh, uh so cardamom i would say is a must have at home fenugreek is a must have so when you make some uh, savory rice or something so the initial so the initial oil when you add the spices to the oil you know you can add mustard and fenugreek so mustard and fenugreek are very good digesters so when you add rice noodles or heavy something for breakfast or you know or lunch i'm sorry a uh, very uh, some things that are carbo heavy so then these are very very beneficial uh, so similarly this is from africa though so grains of paradise hmm? so uh, so they are also a spice uh, almost similar so these are uh, very aromatic Mm. So, but these come from africa right so this is a seed basically and it is also used in cooking because they are uh, very aromatic similarly cardamom is also pretty aromatic so most of the spices the main thing is the aroma mm. uh so this is mostly african but mustard white mustard black mustard indian mustard so mustard so mustard sauce is very famous so that is very heating so mustard actually is a little heating spice but why is mustard used again flavoring taste so first the you put the oil or the ghee and burst the mustard so the mustards when they break when they burst out so they are very very beneficial hmm? so white mustard black mustard indian mustard uh they are actually uh mustard paste uh is is generally used uh to promote digestion so there are different things used at different seasons so for this season use mostly turmeric mustard and ginger for this winter season those are the things that are very commonly used cardamom is very healing so cardamom tea with the turmeric saffron with milk so these are very good huh? so elaichi we call right cardamom is called elaichi right ashish correct cardamom is called elaichi correct yes prabhu yeah yeah so that elaichi tea is uh, very healing very good hmm? for the stomach so elaichi with the uh, saffron or elaichi with the uh, cardamom that is uh, cardamom with the turmeric and uh, so they make a very good uh, mix hmm have you got a question does big cardamom also have a significance what is that big big cardamom cardamom the big cardamom the black one you know with that um, you usually use with rice and um, chickpeas and big cardamom uh yeah there are two varieties one is the green one and the other one is the black one that the black one is a bigger in size yeah 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 so sometimes we use that but uh, that is not very generally used but the small cardamom is what we use for very daily used for the tea mm? uh so definitely the last spice that i would like to mention is nutmeg so nutmeg is a very very 
uh, beneficial, something you can use on a daily basis, especially for the winter. Uh, so nutmeg, uh, what do you call it? Is uh, uh, it's a it's a flavory spice. Hmm? It is uh, medicinal. It's very very medicinal. Uh, so in general cooking, so nutmeg, um, coriander for the winter, ginger, uh, ginger saffron for the tea, cardamom for the tea, and uh, turmeric. So these are all must have. So this was part one of what I wanted to present. Uh, what I'll do is I'll finish this presentation with the pictures and the rest of it. Uh, so by today, tomorrow, I'll share it. And the rest of it will complete next week. So next week, we'll complete this. And uh, I want to make a presentation on Ayurvedic herbs, so general herbs. Uh, so we'll have it. Uh, I'll send you the presentation in advance so that you can refer it. Okay. All right. Thank you all so much. So any questions, comments? Thank you for sharing, Prabhu. Very informative. It's very, it was very informative, Prabhu. Very spicy class, Prabhu, today. Maybe <laughs> hardly ones. Herbal. We'll talk about to bat. <laughs> right. Thank you also. I'll uh, see you all. Uh, uh, next again and uh, YTT. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Prabhuji.